Hi guys and welcome back in the session of introduction to Java servlet. In today's session you will learn how to connect servlet program with MySQL database. So here are the steps. Step 1 create database and data table in MySQL. Step 2 download MySQL connector and configure in Eclipse. Step 3 create a servlet program. So let us move to MySQL database and learn how to create data table. So you will open MySQL workbench and you will write the following queries to create a database and data table. So you will select all these queries and you will execute. So here you can see there is a message your queries has been successfully executed. So you will see here we have different predefined database schemas so you will click on this refresh and here you can see there is a database skill plus plus has been created inside it we have a table the table name is user that contains two columns name and email so if you will right click on this table and select rows so here it will show the data inside user data table so it has name and email for James and Amit. So this is how to create database and data table in MySQL database. So let us move to step two, how to download MySQL connector and configure in Eclipse ID. So to download MySQL connector, you will simply Google download MySQL connector. And here is the first link where you can download MySQL connector for Java. You will click on this link and this link will redirect you to the page of MySQL community downloads. And here you will see the latest connector is 8.0.28. So here you will select your operating systems. So according to your operating systems, you will select your choice. So here I am selecting platform independent. So when you select platform independent, it will show the two download options. First one is this one that is architecture independent. It is a tar archive file and second one is zip archive file. So you will select on the second option and click on download. So once you click on this download, it will redirect to this page so here there is no need to log in or sign up you will simply click on no thanks just start my download so when you click on this link your download will be start you will click on ok and it will be downloaded and here you can see this is your mysql connector java and you will go to the folder you will select this one and you will paste on desktop so you will right click on it and you will extract this file so here is a folder of mysql this file will be extracted and here is a folder you will click on it and here you will find your mysql connector java so this is how to download mysql connector from internet now you will copy it and you will move to your Eclipse ID. And here, in order to save my time, I already created a project that is Skill Plus Plus. So inside your project Skill Plus Plus, you will go to Web Content. Inside Web Content, you have Web INF, and inside Library, you will paste MySQL connector. So here you will see this is your MySQL connector. So what is the next step? right click on it and you will go to build path and add to build path so now your mysql connector is added in your build path so what is the step three step three is you will create a servlet program so to create a servlet program you will go to java resource right click on it and go to package you will create a new package so i am creating a new package skill plus plus you can 
choose any other name and click on finish so you can see here a package is created after creating package you will highlight skill plus plus and create a new servlet you can write your servlet file name so i am writing here my sql demo click on next here is next so here we don't need constructor so i will uncheck it and we don't need do post method i will uncheck it and click on finish so here your program is created i will remove some unnecessary comments so now this is your programs and i will remove this part also now so this is your program mysql demo in this program you will write all the steps to connect your servlet program with mysql database so what i am doing here i will open this link you can see on this website i am copying the program that is mysql demo.java so from this link you can copy the program and i am copying the text from this response.set content and tilde last i am copying this content you will move to your eclipse ide and here you will paste this content so let me just explain this so what will you do just you will fix some errors you will import these packages hover import java.sql hover on the statement and you will fix all the errors like this so now you can see there is no red marker here all error has been already fixed now here let me explain this program what we are doing here so simply you are initializing connections so you are creating connection con is equal null statement stmt is equal null next is result set rs is equal null so what will you write here you will use try and catch so whenever you will write some database program there is a chance for the exceptions so to handle exceptions we are using try and catch block so what is the step one step one is you will load the driver so here we have a for name method which help us to load the driver so you will use com.mysql.cj.jdbc.driver this is how to load the driver after that you will create a connection so we have a get connection method to create a connection and this is your connection string so what is inside a connection string you can see this skill plus plus is your database name and what is root and this root so root is username and this root is the password for mysql database and here is a url for your mysql database localhost and this is your port number 3306 if you will move to your mysql database so here you will go to database and manage connection so here you can see your host name is this one and port number is 3306 so this same host number and this same port number will come in your connection string so your connection string will be this one after creating connection you will create a statement object using a method create a statement it is used for sending sql statements to the database after that you will call a method execute query to execute your queries and we your query is select start from user so using this query the result set will be stored in a variable rs now you will use a next method inside while loop which moves the cursor forward one row from its current position and here you will use simply pw.println rs dot get string so here rs object contains the complete data and using getters method you will use rs dot get string so if you will see in your mysql database the first name first column value is name that is a string type and second one is email it is also a string type so for string values you will use get string method and here is your column label name that is name 
second one is rs dot get string email so this is your first program how to connect your servlet program with mysql database now you will save it and time to run this program you will run on server go to next select your project and click on finish and it will take couple of seconds to deploy your programs and the output will be display so here you will see the output is this one so this is the data which is exist in mysql database database table user you can see it has amit and james and the same data is here so this is the program how to connect your servlet program with mysql database and i hope you enjoyed this concept and videos thank you for thanks for watching we'll see you in the next interesting videos bye bye have a good day